Good day, guys. Welcome back to another video. I'm out bright and early on the river, chasing a few whiting. I got about four dozen yabbies right there, and just gonna be getting amongst it, seeing if I can get any. And this is for a tournament, so that's why I got the day off school, the Salty Classic. It's today, tomorrow, and Sunday, 7 a.m., I think. But yeah, it's a multi species comp, so. Today I'm going for whiting, tomorrow I might be going for flathead and tonight I'm hopefully going for a jewfish lure fish off the beach if everything goes well. But oh my the water is freezing. Um here at in about an hour or so it'll be the max of the incoming tide. And that's prime time for these whitings. You just find a nice deep spot. Here the current's running a bit much, but yeah, this looks like a prime spot. You can see some mullet across the flat, but I'm just gonna have a cruisy day, I'm trying to get some whiting, and yeah. This is the first spot I'm gonna flick today. This absolute pristine spot, just super deep, crystal clear. You can see right down the bottom. A few white bubbles coming through, but it doesn't matter. So. Hopefully there's a few whining out here and they got to be legal to count and uh, yeah, have a little flicky. Righto guys, the setup I'm using is a little 2500 frames. And I've just got a little ball sinker down to my yabby right there. And using 10 pound line, just chucking it down current. And let it drift to me. And hopefully I'll get a yabby. I mean a whiting. Right, uh, I'm gonna switch up spots, guys. I don't think it's the right zone. Here's the next spot, which looks pretty nice. Right, oh guys, I've just put the rod down there and I'm going to give you a more in-depth talk of what I was talking about before. So I've entered a local fishing tournament, multi-species, so we've got flathead, brim, whiting, tailor and... Oh, I'm on, I'm on. Please be a whiting, not a flathead. Dang, this feels half decent. This can't be a whiting. Are you serious? Well, yeah, what I was saying, um, flathead, whiting, brim, tailor, and mulloway is all in the comp. Jeez, this thing has got me in some snags. Either that or it's massive. Oh! Popped off. Look at that. That is just beautiful. But yeah, I'm gonna stay near the rod this time. Oh my god. We're getting nibs. But yeah, about the tournament. Um, I'm in the juniors, which is under 16. So. If I win a species, get the largest species, I get $50. Something's grabbed at this bait. Bait fishing isn't exactly the funnest thing to watch, so I'm just gonna press film on the GoPro when I actually hook onto some fish. There we go. That's a real fish. Oh, this feels a lot like what I do not want it to be. Wow. Ah, oh, damn it. That is not good. It is a little brim. We do want brim but not brim this big. Oh, 
damn it. Well, that's a good sign that there could be some whiting here. Come on, mate. It's not right, man. Probably just borderline. Legal. Give him a measure. But yeah, but that's not, not the fish we want. We want a fat whiting. There's fish number one of the tournament. 29 centimetre brim. So I'll get a photo of that. And boom. Hopefully that's not my biggest brim. But I'll, if that is, then I'll definitely be submitting it. That's a nice one. Uh, hopefully we can get a whiting. There's that broom. Gonna give him a release now. Pretty sick fight. I'll just let him go off in the shallows. guys but yeah see hopefully we can get a whiting there we go there's a fish something had a crack at that and I know exactly what that is that is a broom oh oh my god let's go let's go <laughs> let's go can't tell by my reaction that is exactly what we're targeting. That is a whiting. Let's go. Doesn't look like a very big one. Jeez, these things fly hard. Haven't caught one of these in a while. Oh, that is it. He's getting bigger. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's a big whiting. Oh my. Holy dooly. There we go. That's a good 32 centimetre whiting. Not bad one at all. Snag that photo. Boom. Look at that, there we go. And that is a beautiful whiting. I'll get a hold up. This is a catch and release tournament, so I'm gonna let old mate go. Lucky day. No, yeah, pretty stoked with that. Let's go. There we go guys, there's that whiting, and I don't think he's going to swim off very strong, he's had a pretty rough fight, and he swallowed the hook, so I'll just give him a nice little push off release, oh no, <laughs> he's trying, alright we'll get him to swim off, pretty nice looking fish, they're like a I don't know, that's beautiful. I'd like to get some underwater release, but I don't have an underwater camera and I don't really want to make the audio crap for the rest of the video. Righto. As is. Tank of whiting. Come on, mate. Stay up right. He's becoming... S oh, he's dead. He's stiff as... Righto, um, I'll leave him right here, and if he swims away, he swims away, if he doesn't, then I'm taking him home. Uh, yeah, he's gone stiff, he's not looking very well. The current's starting to go out, I don't know if you can see all them white bubbles drifting out, but yeah, it's going out pretty quick. And once that picks up, I'm gonna probably head some to a different spot and use plastics, or might just go home altogether. Ooh, no way! The white thing is coming back. Oh. 
What? What the heck? In the warning, guys. Barely. Looks very tired, but. Oh. Yeah. No. Well. Uh, Surprising me how hard these little fellas fight. The other white thing is very stiff. After that little last burst of trying to live, you just died. Well, look at it coming in very quick. It is a white thing, not a big one. Oh, yeah, these things fight good. I hope he didn't scoff the hooks. It's a better one, but not quite as big. Oh, oh wow. Oh. Yeah, wow. We're really going for it. This is getting deep. Oh, my good goodness. Golly. What's in my pocket? Not my phone. Nope. Pocket is submerged. Very clear water. Here's the best food you can possibly have out here. Can of tuna. The one I get is lemon cracked pepper. And I really enjoy it. You can bring it out here, you don't need a fridge or nothing special. Not much juice in there. But if you don't have a spoon, this is what you do. Fold that over like that. Fold these two sides together, and there's your spoon, mate. I know it looks dangerous, but I've eaten heaps of tuna like this. Nothing wrong's ever happened. Mm, that's bloody good. We're showing fellas from tuna to fish in seconds. This thing is pretty small. Dang it, that is not at all what we... Wow. Holy shootles. I don't know if you just saw it was chasing this brim. It's like a 50 centimetre mullet. Biggest mullet I've ever seen in my life. Here we go, a little brim. So, the lure I've tied on... It's a pretty small lure. Daiwa bait junkie, two and a half inch paddle tail. But I just want to see if there's any fish actually around. So I've tied him on. And if I do get a few flathead, then I'll tie on a big lure. Because I am trying to win some money. So I'll just be chucking this around. Oh, going through that bush, it's the worst thing ever. Got cuts all over my feet. Oh, I just got absolutely battered, so I'm gonna be heading home now. And that's session one done. And stay tuned for this afternoon. That rhyme. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so hopefully I get a jewfish on the. Oh, wow! Oh, I do not appreciate that. Oh, that's oh, that's horrendous. Oof. Right, I catch you later. Good morning, guys. We're up bright and early on sunset. Sun. What's it called? Sunrise. 
And we're just rigging up the boat now. We're going to be going very shortly on our flatty session. Um, yeah. Let's go. Fueling up now. This is the rod selection we got. Got a bait caster rigged up with a big plastic. And my brim rod. Little hidden weight. Tiny plastic there. Braden's chucking down that. And that. So yeah, we'll be in the water soon. Eight liters, how much oil? Uh, 80 milliliters. That's the thing here. Oh, it's already on 80. Don't spill. Righto guys, we're in the boat. We're just getting stuff sorted out. We're pulling up to this oyster rack. First thing we're chasing is gonna be a few brims, so yeah. I gotta go forward, it's sucking us into the pylon. Oh, the band just floated or something, bro. Hold on. Band just floated. So much brim to spook. What the f? <laughs> Bears, just. I want to replay that and show how, much, how close my foot was to that. <laughs> how are we getting this shit off? <laughs> Boom, shit sold. Put that in Braden's bag. <laughs> no, let's chuck this dog off. Benja, you happy, buddy? Benja, bad boy. Any brims? No. Hell yeah. He's gonna do so much pisses up here. Okay, that's secure. <laughs> Good kitten. <laughs> you just chucked him. Come on, down yet. You want a hand? I'll give you a hand. Come on. Come on. Good job. You big boy. There you go. Fish on. Uh-oh. I'll lift you. Oh. oh. <laughs> yes. It's the first fish of the day. It's like 11 o'clock. First fish of the day. We're not even going to measure him. Oh my. Wait, get your phone out, question mark. Slow my hold up. It's gonna look sick. Oh, it's got whacked. I wasn't even moving my lure. Brim? <laughs> Man, it, would, it would not be a brim. Unless it. Uh... Did you get that Yeah, filming all this. It's getting a. Oh, Brian's on. Oh, you big? No. Oh, little. It's not that bad. Almost time. It's getting a bit hot, so we made a contraption for the dog so he doesn't get hot because the hot air rises. So I thought, why don't we go down in there? Rang got a little flatty. You want the slimer? Oh, yeah. 
slime out actions. Oh, that's big. Oh my god. I haven't even filmed bro. Are you joking? I haven't even filmed him. Alright, let's go chase him. I haven't even filmed him. Right. Braden just hooked up to this massive joy, like, like 200 meters away. Nah, they're in our spot, bro. 200 meters away, and we weren't filming. It's, it's been like 10 minutes. But yeah. 10 pound line. 8 pound. 8 pound line. <laughs> hook, the hook is 1-0, like the smallest little brim hook. So we've just been calm. I mean, I can be too cranky if he loses it, but fish of a lifetime right it. Wait, so he can't run in there? Because he'll, he'll run away from the line. Put your rod as far that way as it can go. Okay, yeah, he's in there. Yeah, I can do it. Real, 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 we're going, he's around, he's around, okay? Real, real, real. He's around the back of it, okay? Don't yeah. put too much tension. Hell. There he went. Have you lost it? No! <laughs> Unlucky. Let's go get. Ah. Oh. <laughs> hey guys, I'm just sitting here editing, and I realised that me and Braden were so into fishing that we forgot to film an outro. So after that Jewfish fight, we stayed fishing for like till sunset, but didn't end up getting anything. But uh, if you made it this far, please like the video and subscribe and see you on the next one.